Negative thoughts. So recently I've been drawn towards kind of creating this music album, you know, I've played music for a long time, I've wrote a lot of songs and I just feel like I have to get them out and I want to create a product, I want to record it in a way that makes me proud and that I can kind of look back on and feel kind of nostalgic about it. And, you know, having these high kind of standards, you know, having a, this attachment to creating something good that I can be proud of, it's tough. And I've realized that through recording, you know, I've been getting frustrated because I've been recording guitar and I haven't been playing as much as I usually do. And so I've lost a lot of like my skill and I've lost being able to play in time. And <laughs> when I record, I just get these, I kept getting this feeling like, oh, like this, this angry kind of feeling like, oh, I really, I'm really sucking at this at the moment and it's really frustrating me. And it just made me feel like a failure. I'm just like, oh, why I should just give up, you know, this is good enough. And then I kind of just sat back and then I thought about it for a while and then I was like, this is part of the value of it. Me sacrificing, me putting all this effort into it. That's what's going to make it so much more better. And in the past where I've just given up, you know, I've said, oh, this is just good enough. I'm just going to do with whatever I've got at the moment. This is why I don't have anything that I've felt strongly about, anything that I've been proud about because I've just kind of half-assed it. I haven't put my full effort into it. And that's kind of sad and it, I'm like it makes me just want to do it more it makes me want to try it more and you know it's tough trying to break this kind of habit of like these thoughts that are like in the back of my head saying oh you're not good enough this isn't good enough you're not going to be able to make it maybe you're just not good enough but it's like of course I can't do it at the moment I haven't been practicing it enough I haven't been doing it enough I haven't been implementing I haven't been doing this so of course I'm going to lose a skill and of course it takes time to build this skill and it's it sucks because growing up I was always told you know oh you're so gifted you're so smart you know and I, I just breezed through school because I had a decent memory and I was kind of told that I was smart I never did any homework never put any more effort that I wanted to in I didn't really care about it but I also got told that I was smart and so that was also detrimental to me because then I thought, oh, I'll just stick to whatever's easiest. I won't put any effort because I'm just smart and I can just kind of coast through life, you know. And that's kind of like my lazy side coming through. And now I'm like trying to get rid of it and trying to not get rid of it, but overcome it because now it's like an obstacle that's in my way, you know. And if I want to create something that I feel great about, I have to put time and effort and I have to sacrifice for it because that's what makes something valuable you know when you sacrifice when you give yourself over to something and you put in all this effort and all this accumulation and then you have these stories like oh you know i tried so hard for this for so long and then eventually I, I actually got it and then it felt so much better when i got it because i put all this effort and attention into it and i just kept going even though i didn't really feel like it and all these thoughts were coming into my head and that's what makes these achievements so much better of course, I don't know because I'm still kind of going through the process at the moment, but this is kind of a realization that I've come to through trying to record an album that I can be proud of. Thank you for watching if you did, and I'll see you in the next video.